We are back. Welcome back to the Fourth and Flex Fantasy Football Podcast. I'm your host, Bandy. With me, as always, is Dre. We got 18 years of combined fantasy football experience, right? Here. Yeah. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? A lot of games on Thursday. You got to do a whole ep- special episode for it. That's right. Bonus content, special episode for the Thursday. N- I keep wanting to say Thursday night football, but it's Thursday football. Thanksgiving football. Happy Thanksgiving, by Happy the way. Happy Turkey Day. Absolutely. Gobble, gobble, gobble. But uh, yeah, big things going on over here. Um, let's go ahead and get into it, Trey. What do you say, buddy? Let's do it. All right, first game, we've got the Bills versus the Lions. Over-under for this game is 52 points. Vegas has the Bills winning by 10. Um, I like the over on this game. I think this game is going to be an insane offensive game. Um, I do think the Bills take the W. I don't see the Lions taking over the Bills, but I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't happen. I mean, secretly, I kind of want to see it happen. I kind of want to see the Lions. They're on a a three-win streak right now. I'd love to see them go four, but don't tell my girl because she's a Bills fan. But secretly, it'd be awesome to see the Lions take it. But how can you not take the Bills to win this game? I agree. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into some Bills starts. I mean, Singletary, I think, is like, what, a must-start these days? It's it's kind of wild. Um, uh, but uh, you got to be a little, you know, careful just because I think that the uh, Lions running defense is kind of sneaky good. They're kind of getting a lot better this year, and it's, it's a little scary. But uh, Singletary, you got to start them because if you don't, you're probably – you know, going to be upset that you didn't. Um, Davis, Gabriel Davis, he's hit or miss this year. Um, Really was hoping he would keep it going, but uh, I think you could start him in this matchup against the Lions. Um, Maybe, maybe flex James Cook. Um, He's been coming on, making, you know, making a little name for himself. Um, uh, Knox, I think would also be a good tight end start here just because the Lions, they, they give up a lot of yards and you know, Knox got a good amount of targets last week, and hopefully he can keep that going. What do you think? Yeah, I like that a lot. I mean, James Cook isn't going to put up just an amazing amount of points, but if you're struggling at a running back spot and you need a toss in, he's going to put up, you know, six, seven, probably minimum, and maybe even get a touchdown. That's mm-hmm. what you're hoping for. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you got go ahead and move to the Lions here, Trey. Um, Jamal Williams has hey. got heart, apparently. Hey, that's something we said uh, at the beginning of the season. And it's starting to come to fruition. Uh, Jamal Williams, man, you got to start him. Now, temper your expectations just because it is the Bills and they have a decent run defense. So, you know, if he is really that guy like he seems to be, which I'm pretty sure he is, uh, you know, he'll show it against the Bills. I, I will say this. It seems like always uh, people who play the Bills with a good running back generally get at least one Really good run against the Bills when they're not expecting it. So, you know, maybe Jamal Williams gets that. Um, Swift is scary start. But, hey, he got a touchdown last week. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe I, I guess I, I'd have to start Swift here if I had him on my roster. It's hard not to. Yeah. And, of course, Amon Ra. You're going to start Amon Ra. Uh, something to keep in mind of. Jameson Williams is coming off of IR. Um, and he's supposed to be something special, Trey. I know you've had him stashed on that IR spot for a while now. Uh, all year, just about. And uh, I'm ready because he. I saw him watch him play in college. He was great. Um, he was that deep ball over the middle, beautiful catch, sh- sugar off a, a defender. I, I mean, I, I think he's going to be amazing. And if he's recovered, then I can't wait to see him play. Absolutely. It is going to be interesting. Um, but that's all I got for the Lions. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, I mean, besides that, Jamal Williams got heart. He's got beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, lamb, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Do you think they felt bad for Swift? And they're like, yeah, you know, go ahead and get you a little touchdown yeah. there. You know what I mean? Like, had to. Know, you, can't, you can't give them all to him, right? Right. <laughs> um, but I think that is going to do it for the Bills versus the Lions. But let's go ahead and move on to the next game. I've got the Giants versus the Cowboys. Over under for this game is 43 and a half points. 
Cowboys picked to win by eight. It's funny that the total is 43 and a half because the game of the Cowboys and Vikings was 43. Oh. So I'm going to say this game probably hits the under. I think this is a little bit more of a defensive game. I don't think that goes just crazy like they, I mean, I don't think that happens every week. Um, but I, I mean, I'm still excited to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to watch it too. Um, I, the, Daniel Jones, I saw him driving a little bit um, in that game, and he looked like, you know, he was doing something there. So, you know, maybe, maybe, but, you know, the Cowboys' inconsistencies um, generally show their, you know, ugly heads. So, I mean, it's it's nervous. I hope the Giants win, but I'm going to say the Cowboys take the W on this one. Uh, jumping into my Cowboys starts, um, I mean, it's hard to pick between Zeke and Pollard. Um, which one to start? I feel like you got to start both of them. I mean, they both did amazing last week. Um, there was a lot of run in that game, though, so probably one of them won't perform to the point where you want them to this week, but they're both probably going to get enough to make you happy. Um, CD Lamb, I'm starting that dude up. Um, I, like I said, the receivers last week, there was running so much that receivers didn't really get to do anything. I don't know that that script carries over. Um, that's why I'm starting Schultz. The volume is there. Um, the Cowboys just didn't need to throw. I mean, they, they, they were killing it on the ground. Um, and I'm starting Dak, obviously. Yes. Yes, they were, dude. How about Tony Pollard, bro? Monster. Dude's a monster. <sighs> yeah, crazy. I did hear that um, during that Bears game, there was a one point where he, uh, he ran and he came off the field and he said, Coach, I'm done. I'm done. So maybe they need Zeke there to um, help balance things out, you know? Yeah, I mean, they think that Zeke's the the head guy, if, anyway, if you're asking Jerry Jones. And uh, I think he's just uh, the ornaments and t- Tony Pollard's wrapped in the present, like, just let me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. But, yeah, I'm with you on the starts there. Uh, jumping into my giant starts, um, obviously Daniel Jones has been worth starting. And Saquon, you got to start that dude. Um, Wando Robinson out for the season, man. Uh, so obviously that was, um, somebody you can drop because, uh, last week I said you could keep him on your bench. He actually did all right in the game. Um, but he's out for the season. So Darius Slayton start that dude up. And I was already looking at this guy before Wandell was out, but Richie James Jr. Um, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say you you can start him yet. I mean, maybe if you need to and you're in a tough spot, I think it's worth a start. But keep your eye on this dude. Um, you know, he 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 looked really good. He had three passes, three catches, and uh, I think it was like 64 yards or something like that. And with Wandell out, they're going to get him more involved. Yeah. Um, that's about it for my giant starts. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I was thinking the same thing on Richie James. I almost thought maybe he might be good for the waiver wire show, but I don't know, man. I, I just feel like I need to see more there. But with Wandell out, maybe worth an ad, buddy. I don't know. Yeah, I had him on my waiver wire uh, notes, and then I kept taking him off and putting someone else. And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to have to mention him at some point during the episode, and I'll be all right. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I know exactly what you mean. But yeah, sounds good, buddy. The Giants, Cowboys, it's going to be interesting. Can't wait to watch it with a full belly, all That's that right. turkey. But let's go ahead and move on to the next game. This week, we've got the Patriots versus the Vikings. Over under for this game is 43 points. Vegas has Vikings winning by three and a half. I like the Vikings in a comeback win after a horrible defeat last week. I think that they get it back together and uh, they take the Patriots. I got three words for you. You like that? I got three words for you, Kirk Cousins. You like that? (laughs) It's rough. It's rough. That's um. I just don't see how the Vikings don't come out swinging in this mm-hmm. matchup. Uh, Justin Jefferson's got something to prove, especially now. I mean, he's the best receiver in football, right? I mean, Cooper Cup isn't going to be here to uh, defend himself, but not like, you know, Matthew Stafford was helping with that anyway. But, yeah, I, I got the Vikings taking the W in this game. But uh, let's do some Patriots starts here. It's a short list. <laughs> right. That. Um, Ramondre, obviously, right? Um, maybe Damian Harris. M- my thoughts are this. The Cowboys ran all over the Vikings with two backs last week. Now, can we trust Damian Harris to also get enough to be fantasy relevant this week, Trey? 
Well, the only thing that scares me is when I was watching that Patriots game this weekend, they had a, a back in there. I think his last name is Smith. I don't even know his name. And he had ne- his first snaps in the NFL, and they were giving him plays. So it's like um, I think he had two or three runs before Ramondre even came on the field. And it's like what, you know, with a, if they're splitting it three ways, you know, the only person I want to touch is Ramondre, yeah. um, regardless of who they're playing. Yeah, and you're probably right. I mean, I mean, if there's a better option out there, absolutely you're right. Um, but uh, Jacoby Myers, he kind of had a down game last week, but everybody in that game had a down week other than the kick returner. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but I guess I'd start Jacoby Myers here if you have him. You know, you can't just, you know, let him loose after one bad game. Um, it should be a good game, I think. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, but jumping into my Viking starts, um, I'm starting Kirk Daddy Gold Chain up. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we've got to put him out there. I know it's a rough week, but we're starting him up. Dalvin Cook, he still produced enough points for me not to be mad at him. Um, <laughs> I'm starting him up again. Uh, Justin Jefferson, I mean, you have to start this dude. You can't bench him after, off a bad week. I mean, you had to put him out there. Uh, mm. Just remember the week before. You know what I mean? And uh, keep keep your head high. Uh, Adam Thielen, though, I'm sitting Adam Thielen this week. Um, I think with the Patriots defense and everything like that, and uh, I just don't know how much they can move it around, and I'm worried about Adam Thielen not getting enough points to be start worthy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, the, the, the Patriots have um... – the defense has been scary, bro. Um, uh, Matthew Matt Judon is slowly but surely uh, sliding in as a sneaky win for Defensive Player of the Year. I know Micah Parsons is probably leading that because, you know, he gets all the headlines. But Judon's been dangerous this year, bro, and scary. No doubt, no doubt. Um, and then Hawkinson, obviously, I mean, tight end world is tough, and uh, he could probably get some catches in this game, if not a touchdown. I think you throw him out there. I mean, I, I have to agree. Uh, Hawkinson, definitely. I mean, he's getting targets, especially in PPR leagues. You want to start Hawkinson up. Um, I mean, he is you know, becoming a part of this team, and uh, it's starting to show. You can see him getting more comfortable. Um, but, but, again, Patriots defense. So, temper expectations in this matchup, guys. Yeah, and one thing I will say, um, being that there's three games on Thursday, you know, make sure that your players that are playing on Thursday, you put them in your running back slot and your wide receiver slot, not your flex, because um, come Sunday, if something happens, you're going to want to be able to be flexible with your team, and you can't do that if you locked up your flex on Thursday night. Yes, sir. The fourth and flex is telling you about the flex. I love it. I love it, Trey. Great advice. But one good thing you won't have to worry about this week, no buys. No buys this week. So. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, bye, bye, bye to the bye, bye, byes. Yeah, well, don't worry because there's a, a good one coming up after this. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for uh, checking out the show today. Uh, hopefully we helped you with those lineup questions. Um, we're doing the Waiver Wire show live. Um, it's it's happening. Uh, guys, but don't forget to uh, check out our uh, Patreon. Uh, join the family here. We got a signed DeAndre Swift jersey giveaway going on. Links are in the description. Or you join our Patreon, you're automatically entered in every giveaway moving forward. We got Swift right now, but we got big ones coming. I promise you. Um, you know, I could I could see what you're thinking, Trey. Have they subscribed yet, guys? Listen, we need your help over here. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video. Sound off in the comments. We need some comments in this video, guys. Let us know if you agree with these starts and sits. Let us know if, uh, you know, we got it wrong. Let us know. But, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Gobble, gobble. this yet but look (laughs) (laughs) that's good (laughs) i should have done that guys don't forget to uh sign up for my jersey right here (laughs) 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 